Hello, brothers and sisters. Well, my goodness, it's it it hasn't even been 24 hours um, since the the last message um, that I came on here and delivered to you. But I I I had no choice. I had to be able to come on and and tell you what uh, what I dreamt about last night. It was yet another another God dream. And I think what what is happening now is that it was so clear, so beautiful, and then made such a point about uh, Jesus coming to harvest his bride. I just, I, I have to tell you, it, it is now, I, my goodness, I, I can't see how this can wait much longer. I am just beside myself. This is what happened again. Hello, everybody. Please come on in. This is not going to be a long message. This is just going to discuss. It's going to tack on to uh, the message from yesterday. Now, we're not going to go uh, deep into anything except to be able to uh, talk about what happened to me last night, what what I dreamt about last night, the God dream, and it was so powerfully clear and strong. And so here is what happens. I want to let you know this this with the the messages, with the confirmations having now just they come so fast. They they come so strong now. I. I, it, it, it's almost overwhelming, but a sense of overwhelming from in the excitement stage, you know, it, it's not like it's too much. It's like, yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean? It's, it's that. All right. So here's what happened. Uh, if, uh, and I encourage you, if you haven't seen the, the, the very last message, the one right before this talking about the imminent return of Jesus for his bride. Please go take a look at that now. I don't think, I mean, I, I'm not trying to be hyperbolic or anything, but I am now to the point where I'm thinking that we may not finish things, that that it is so close that, uh, don't get wrapped up into thinking you are able to complete certain things, certain things in life, certain things in work, certain things in, uh, you know, what you, you, you got to do next week or uh, the next day or even the next hour. I, I'm saying that we need to be so focused on right now, this very moment, in this instant in time, we need to be so focused on that, so that uh, that, that there's nothing taking our minds away. You, you know, a lot of people talk about how you need to live in the moment. Well, I, I'm saying that there's nothing that can be more relevant to that than this right now. Uh, again, if you haven't looked at my uh, last video, please go take a look at this because this is going to, oh, Angel, yes, you had a rapture dream last night too. And this is what I'm saying. I'm not going to uh, try to get, there is just too much. It's it's like, you know, if, if you've looked at Stellarium and you've seen the water bearer, uh, uh, Orpheakos, and, and you see the image of him pouring out the water and how the moon was in the path of that water. This is what I feel like it's, it, it's pouring out. The pouring out the cleansing water. That's, that's what this is. So last night, I same thing happened. I awoke, but earlier this time. This was at uh, 1.30 
in the morning, 1.30 on the button. And, uh, and so I, once again, I, I know that it's for a reason and I am really starting to pray, but something was different about this time. What I was doing this way, I really felt the desire to pray in to this closeness with Abba, to pray into this closeness with Jesus, so close that I felt wrapped in them. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Like they were a blanket and they both just wrapped themselves. They were this close and I was able to speak to them in whispers because they were so close they could hear me do you see and I, I mean now i know that they hear me anyway we know that we can you know we don't have to speak out they can they can hear our thoughts they know that i know that but uh the 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 point that i'm trying to make here is that it was palpable for me as if the real presence of someone being right there with me so close so visibly face to face that you don't have to speak but in a whisper and they hear you clearly do you understand what i'm saying and in that it it felt so good it felt so good so then I'm not going to cover all the stuff that I prayed. I prayed for family and, and friends and lost and the, uh, praying for the peace of Israel, you know, and all of these things that I want to, to be able to do. Uh, I, I pray that I am going to be forgiven where I have missed the mark in anything that has happened throughout the day, that there is not going to be anything that is going to get in the way between that relationship because I want that closeness. And then I went to sleep. And in fact, it was such a blessed sleep that I can't even recall actually falling asleep. That is so wonderful when that happens and, and so wonderful. And then right before I wake up, I have this dream. Well, let me say it's this dream first. I'm actually looking through God's word. I'm looking through his word. And there's an image, almost like a transparent image of the white rapture bus, if you will, that I saw yesterday. And what I was doing is going through all of these words, all of these verses, all of these connections, and all of these messages that I had given previously. And so it's God's word there in what I had delivered. And what I was seeing were these deeper connections. I heard this voice as if it were a teacher that was talking to me and pointing out to me, do you see this here? Do you see this here? Do you see this point here? And I'm seeing all these deeper, deeper connections. Now here's something that was really odd about this, but so awesome. I was seeing the word of God as having value like gold, right? And these, as, as this teacher was pointing out to me, these deeper connections, again, they're all contained in this rapture bus. So what it's telling me is it's, it's all related to the harvest of the bride and all these connections, all the convergence of these connections. But in God's word, I'm able to see this deeper connection, this un, uh, under, 
uh, subtextual spiritual level, then, and I'm being shown how even more valuable than the gold I was seeing at the top level, how much more valuable this deeper level was than the top level. You understand? And I am just marveling as I'm seeing, and, and I can almost see, here's a word of God over here. I'm sorry. Here's a word of God over here. And then there's like a line that's connecting it, like a like a grid, if you will, or a network. And this line connects to another one. And I'm reading that verse and I can see the deeper meaning in it. And I can see these other, other different verses. And it's in 3D where I see all of these words and all of them are, are like around me and they're all connecting all in this rapture bus and the value of it. And I understand just how valuable this is, not only the, the, the value of the words themselves, but the value of the understanding of it underneath it. And I am just praising God and thanking him for this understanding that he's given me to this point. Do you understand? I was just like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And again, it's all in white, all in white. And then after that, thankfulness and praise is pouring out of me in this dream, then the scene changed. And oh my goodness, I am suddenly in this glorious golden light that is all around me. I'm submerged in this warm, glowing, living, golden light. And it is coursing through me and I see it all. And it is wonderful. And I'm, it is so real and so palpable that I'm standing in it and I'm looking. So this is what it is. The idea is for me to be focused on this one thing, one thing. And I want you to, to, to key on this, focused on this one thing. And it was a container. And in this container was barley. It was barley that was all uh, it was winnowed barley, and and it was in this big, like a basket, like a. Uh, I, I I have a hard time trying to to say it because the whole point was not to focus on the container, but it was this beautiful barley that was in this container. And as I'm watching in this golden light, then Jesus's hands, I see them come out from beside me. And again, I'm focused on the barley. And these hands come down and gently scoop up the barley. And I can see white robes and, and I can see the cuffs of his robes. And there's this beautiful embroidered golden patterns that are in these robes. And I know it's Jesus. I know it's Jesus. And he is gently scooping up this barley and taking it away. And I know that's the harvest. And I woke up. My heart is still pounding, brothers and sisters. My heart is still pounding. It is so powerful what this vision was. And I knew instantly everything connected with it. Now, this is it. So this is the representation of the 
ready barley. The barley bride is ready for the harvest. And Jesus was coming from the sky down and he is gently taking. Uh, so that's one of the things that that I, I, I think goes, it's, it's a forceful taking. So sometimes when people talk about the the harpazo the snatching it's it's almost as if it's so violent as to be painful like you go come here you know that kind of thing or it's that do you understand what i'm saying yes it's a snatching away, it's a taking away, but what I am seeing out of this, it was the power of God, Jesus doing it, but it was gentle. It was gentle in that he did it and he was gently caressing his barley and taking it to be with him. I saw the, the barley and the, the kernels. Actually, the barley was beautiful too. It was beautiful and golden as well. And the, it was, oh my goodness, it was, when I say beautiful to behold, it was not like anything we have seen. And so when, uh, so when I'm looking at this and I'm not seeing anything else out of this, and that's another point, we need to be focused. As I've said so many times, we need to be focused on him, focused on him. He is the one coming for the barley bride. And that, I'm sorry, brothers and sisters, I, 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 that was the strongest clarification, confirmation from me, from Jesus, that he is at the door and he is just about to come from the clouds and gently take his loving bride with him. He's taking the bride. And he's taking it up to be with him. That's what's going to happen. I didn't see any wheat. I didn't see any grapes. There was nothing in my field of vision except this container of ready barley. Okay? And so that's, that's what I'm saying. I just want you to know I had to come on and I had to be able to say something about this because... So many things are happening and it is, you know, how, how can I, how can I say this? This isn't wishful thinking. This is God actually impressing on me what he is about to do. This is him telling me, this is not me having some just, oh, you know, it's so, I'm so bound up with this. I'm so wrapped up with this. I can't see anything. So the only thing I possibly could see is dreams that would be around this. No, no, no. I am having the dreams because God is giving them. And I am so filled with joy and anticipation and, and just ah, excitement and I am wanting to let you, brothers and sisters, know that as well. I want you to be filled with that excitement. I want you to be filled with that hopeful expectation. I want you to be looking and focusing on this because that's what he's showing me he's coming for. He's coming for that bride. And, and you know, uh, you do not have to to believe it. You do not have to receive it, but I pray that you do. Open your heart. Do not harden your heart. 
Jesus is coming for his bride. And it's right now, I'm, I was thinking, my goodness, if I don't tell our beautiful family about what you are saying, I'm going to explode. I'm going to explode from it. The, the excitement in me is so strong. And I, it, and I can't keep it from you. I'm, because of the things that Jesus has given me to give to the family, to encourage and to build up and to edify, this is it. Jesus is coming for his bride. And we, I, I, I'm just thinking if I don't say something now, it can very well happen before I do. And I would have missed that opportunity. And I don't want to do that. I want to be obedient. And I want to be giving the message that Jesus wants you to have. He's coming, brothers and sisters. He's coming. And it is so close now. I just, I, I, it's so close now. It's so close now. I can't, I don't want to sleep. You know what I mean? I don't want to sleep. I, I want to be focused on him. And I encourage you to do the same. If you have anything I, 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 to say, or if, if there's anything else that, if there's something that the uh, that Holy Spirit prompts any of you with, or, 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 or something that, that you want to, uh, to tell everybody, please uh, like and, and share uh, the, the video. I, I, I'm asking for you to leave your comments. Tell me what the Lord is showing you as well. I see a number of comments that, that are scrolling up talking about what Jesus, our, our glorious bridegroom, is showing them and the rapture dreams and, and visions that are coming through. Let's share them all now. Let's try to put them in together in what we can see right now. Let's do this and let's have this as a word for those who will be able to see it and learn from it be, and be edified from it before that event, which is so quickly about to happen. The spirit and the bride say, come, even so, Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Maranatha, brothers and sisters, we'll see you in the clouds. Amen and amen.